Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Cade Plays RimWorld. In today's fine episode, we'll see if Mick actually bothers to make some swords. I would like her to make those swords. Mick, that's a you job, friend. But of course you're butchering and cooking and such, which is... I would argue probably much more of a priority for you. I'm, I'm okay that that's what you're doing instead. We have a lot of camel hide, though. So... That'll be interesting for making jackets for whenever we run out of heavy fur. <laughs> and then... Another thing for us to take care of here will be... Ah, Jackson's med med meditating away. It's almost got us up to four anima grass. Remember, it only takes 20 for a, uh, a nature-type learner gain a level of psychic power. So we're nearly sort of a, a quarter of the way there. Heading heading up to. Uh, it's more compacted to machine around. Right down there. But that's okay. So uh so there is a reason I'm not taking the compacted machinery, which is the reason of this. And that is my wealth graph. So as um, as wealth increases, uh, that is what is going to bring in heavier raids. Uh, well, like a combination of wealth and time, but I can sort of, uh, if I dra if I rapidly increase in wealth, then I will quite suddenly have um, sharper raids to deal with. So. Not that I'm going to go out of my way to, like, burn all of the, you know, burn all of my um, expensive stuff. Like, there are some, like, super, like, wealth minimal runs where that is a strategy that you can use. I'm not a huge fan of that. But at the same time, so, like, stuff like um, where there's the compacted machinery still in the walls, whatever, there's, like, a little up here. There's a few spots down this way here and some here. So components are actually quite expensive, like gold is very expensive. So it's just a case of I will mine it when I need it. I'm also looking around, I'm just very, very kind of quickly checking around to see if I can find any deposits of uranium. Uh, because as far as the metals in this game go, uranium is very durable. And it's really good for making, like, helmets and armors and blunt weapons. So, like, hammers and clubs and stuff usually benefit from being made of uranium. More granite. There's, like, a particular texture. That's my ancient danger. I see you, buddy. Not today, Satan. Um, there's, a particular, there's a particular, particular texture that, that it has, which is kind of like a... It's sort of a dark metal, uh, dark kind of deposit, very sort of granitey, slaty in color, but has, um, I guess, kind of like flecks in it. Not quite like these. Not quite like these. They're they're little. They're little. Um, I don't know. I, I guess it's it's hard to try and describe different kinds of flecks. I. I think this may be the first time I've ever tried. Um, needless to say, it is distinct enough uh, that you can sort of tell the difference by looking, but it doesn't look like I've got any like really obvious sort of surface deposits of uranium, which is kind of not that big of a deal, but also like distantly a pain in the ass. And there may be some if I dig further into these that I may discover later on. But much as with many things, that is a that is a uh, later on me problem. So I'm not overly going to worry myself about it. Jet is building us some walls. This is this is going nicely. So so kind of what's happening here is she's going and getting some granite, cutting a chunk, making 
making the blocks and then building the wall chunk with those and then going and cutting another chunk. Which, versus cutting all the chunks first, I essentially am fine with that as a workflow. Um, it may be like a little more time efficient to build all the chunks out first because she can just kind of be here and burn through all the chunks and I can have people run and haul them over and then she can just go along and sort of fill in the, you know, paint by numbers, sort of fill in the blanks a little bit. But at the same time, I'm just, I'm not like, I'm not overly concerned with min-maxing to that kind of a level. I don't need to, I don't, I don't feel like I need to get into all of that business. Happy, where you at, man? Yeah, I know the environment's kind of ugly. Be less ugly if you clean the trash. Thanks, bud. Yeah, go have yourself a lie down, mate. Eight without table, why would you do that? Why are you so crazy? Also, spacious interior. This room is so expansive, I feel free. Is everybody getting that? No, just just she is. Alright, I mean, cool, right? Oh, and she's comfortable. I am kind of actually pretty happy about that. Alright. Everybody up to bed for another night now. Uh, Fernandez is going to carry on digging the steels. I feel like I can probably suspend mining operations here shortly. I think we're exceeding my storage yard's capacity. Good enough. Oh, did you not want to... Look, just, just haul some of it back at least. So it's not just sat there. Thanks, bruh. He's going to feed the Benico. Sounds like a euphemism, but it's not one. Wow, she just really wants to do some drugs. Cool. Let's increase our back stock of fine needles. We're going to increase this to not 112, but definitely 20. And then the simple meals will go to 20 also. For like... For whenever we get down to... Yeah, okay, so, um... She can't make fine meals right now, she doesn't have ingredients. Which, like, is kind of a bummer, but whatever, I guess. Let, okay, aha, yes, let's fill this wall in. If somebody would be sequined. Everybody's up and about. A fine day. A fine day in Wentworth, my friends. Grizzly bear is hunting Felicia. Oh, I don't bloody well think so. Right, where's Team Gun? No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Shoot him. Oh, and Rissa with the six shooter. Yeah. Yeah. No, you don't. Not my Felicia. How are you? Bleeding heavily. Zillard, are you tending to that? No, stop training the wolf. Tend to Felicia. Right now. Go, 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 go. That's our flak yak. Oh, I don't think Senor Grizzly Bear is going to be doing a whole lot about it now. Jet, whenever you're uh, whenever you're free, when you've eaten, I'm just going to have you go out there and take care of that. I knew it. I knew I should have gotten, another, gotten uh, rid of those bears earlier. Yes, thank you, girls. Clean the blood. Very lovely. Very cool. Very cool. Very nice. Alrighty. Now, uh, feel free to go about that business you were going about there earlier. Alright, kitty winks. We got bear meat. How you doing, Felice? You're okay. 
you're okay. 65 quality, 50 quality, 50 quality, 61 quality. I mean, it's not like a hospital. I mean, it is just a patch of dirt outside, so it's not going to be so good. But that is some pretty good quality tending, truthfully. So I am happy for Felicia, glorious flak yak, and her... Uh, her ability to be cared for. Now there's another bear out here somewhere, is there not? There is. It's down here. It's got an aching bite scar. <laughs> kind of wonder where that's from. It's permanently in just a little bit of pain, so it's probably like pretty PO'd most of the time. Now there's a lot of granite around. So sandstone, marble, steel, marble. Sandstone. I was going to see if I could uh, get a quick injection of granite blocks by deconstructing some uh, existing granite structures, but I don't obviously see anything. This is all sandstone. Marble columns, though. I mean, that's pretty fancy. Not gonna lie to you. Steel, marble. So we can we can get little bits of marble. Is there some marble around here? Or is that like a foreign... Um, there's, yeah, there's limestone. There's granite. I don't think marble is natively on this map tile. So that's kind of interesting and a little bit fancy. It's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit not for peasants, and I'm kind of okay with that. It sits on brand, right? So there's definitely that as a consideration. Even these, yeah, they're so it's all nice stuff. So yeah. Okay, marble. I'm keep that in mind. I'm gonna keep that in mind. And there's like an awful lot of steel walls and stuff that I can break down and reclaim some more steel out of. Guess like later down the line. So also kind of fine and cool. Steel. A tall, thick slab with engravings on the sides. Steels have been used since ancient times to memorialize individuals, battles, and other important events. Acts as an artistic meditation focus. Alright, cable. Jackson is... working his way through Anima Grass number 5. Like, that's really just kind of going to be his life for a while. Is going to be meditating and communing with, uh, with the great tree. Until I can get him some psychic powers. And also, if I got anything more of a friggin'. Okay, so do we host this idiot <clears throat> for the sake of getting enough plasteel to make the plasteel longsword I want to make? And gain mood with Northern Orlay and Paul Olivier Bouchard. As a faction, who are they? Northern Orlay. So they're they're the ones where I can uh, natural good will, will range up to fifty. So anything up to fifty is basically like just benefit, right? So the Temeistin Federation. So those guys suck. From Luca Jacobi. Chief Blue Elk. Chief Reisling Bacchus. Chief, I'm not even going to go for that one. Neo Catameo. Alright. Yeah. So it might be worth doing it to get the goodwill. The problem is I don't really have a room. And it's not that I couldn't make one. But I want it to be a nice room, you know? 
think maybe Isla's room would be good. Isla's room seems fine. We need more dry we need more dressers. To to increase the the valuableness of these rooms. The value value of these rooms. Bad at words. Forever and always bad at words. It's, there's also oh, I was gonna do some N tables. Uh, makes little makes nearby beds a little bit more comfortable. Must be placed directly adjacent to the head of the bed, so they're going to be like here and here and here, 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 and here, 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 and here. So it's the bedroom upgrades now. Hop to it. Luckily, we've got loads and loads of wood, because each one of these is fifty wood. But Jet should be able to do pretty good. And she's also going to get, like, decent... Uh, she's going to get some pretty decent, like, crafting XP. Comfort plus five, comfort plus five. Gonna, for purely aesthetic reasons, I'm going to move these to the foot of the bed in each of these rooms. Because I guess it just bugs me that it's, like, in the way of all this stuff. I don't know why that bugs me, it just does. Also, chopping trees. So here's one thing we're going to do. Since this is likely going to become a bit of a defensive stronghold, I'm going to start cutting down the trees around these areas. Because essentially I want to deprive incoming attackers of cover. Also, more wood for generators. One colonist idol, happy, whatever. I want a nudity vanico. Needs warm clothes. Whom? Whom? Whomst need warm cloth? Well, I know Benico does. Isla does. It's really only Isla. That hair is kind of something else. I'm wondering if I do make a toque if she'll wear it. But like a good one, not really garbagey toque. Decisions, decisions. Uh, all right. So that's a good bed, good table, good dresser, normal, good, good, excellent. I mean, so pretty much anything, good, normal, 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 good, power, good, good, power. Good power. Alright. Infection chance multiplier from room. Alright. Better. Yeah. Hospital working as intended. Happy, why are you... Why are you in the hospital, bud? Oh, you need asthma medication. Alright. Sure. Yeah, Ambrosia Bush is kind of powering through the winter season a little bit, though. Kind of surprised. Would have thought it would have died out. I actually would have thought that my rice would have died out pretty soon, too. But I feel like if I, I feel like if I leave it for a little bit longer, I might actually get something distantly approaching a full harvest of rice. I think I'm just going to... Whatever remains there, I'm going to leave it and just see how it turns out. I think it should be fine. Which is like exactly what I say right before something really stupid happens and then I look like an idiot. And that certainly does happen quite a bit. Mick, have you even started on these swords yet, bud? Yes. We kind of started on one of them. So, uh... I asked you to make a sword, and thus far, what you have produced for me is a is a long link of very off-color boudin, or like uh, like a little metal sausage, which is basically a club at this point, albeit the club usually has spikes on what for the bopping on the head of peoples and such. 
How's the research going? We're getting there. We're getting there. So we're going to be able to make arms and feet and hands and legs and... It's all going to be wonderful. It's all going to be wonderful. And then eventually we'll learn how to make bionics. Then we'll be able to make bionic stuff. That'd be really cool. Then we're going to go to Orbit Trade Beacon and I'm going to need a room. I'm going to require a room because when uh, whenever I do whenever I do microelectronics, I unlock the high tech research bench, which then is for all of this stuff, or for some of some of this stuff. Yeah, so I think a lot of this next tier here, yeah, requires high tech research bench. Thus, I surely wonder. Do I not want to uh, take a little bit of time? Because I, I think it's like one wider each. The the high tech research bench I think is is because this is two by three. I think it's two by five. Does it tell me if I go look? Tell me your secrets. Microelectronics. High tech research bench. You do not tell me your dimensions. This change material button's awesome. Golden high tech research bench. That's so stupid. That would be so funny though. Uranium high tech research bench. Very durable. Sick. But of course we'd probably just make it out of steel. Terrain requirement heavy. Beauty 20. So if you just make stuff out of gold, it's just pretty. That's really interesting. That is very, very interesting to see how different material choices affect what the end product does. Fernandez is feeding the feeding the Felicias. Oh, Felicia. Once again, you have protected the protected the the fair colonists. But this time. And this actually fills me with a slight bit of, like, joyful pride. But this time we were actually able to save Felicia back by turning up and shooting that grizzly bear to death before it killed her. I'm very, very pleased with that. I wonder if my wolf would have taken the grizzly bear in a fight or not. I, I mean, I want to say no. I want to say a grizzly bear should take an arctic wolf in a fight, right? But... Then I also should think like a couple of people with guns should take an arctic wolf in a fight. But that didn't happen. So I have cause to believe that arctic wolves are considerably more lethal than I generally assume they are. May Mayhap because I assume too low. Due to la stupidita. New quest has become available. It is called Dreadful Monument. Oh, another one. Alright, what can I build for you, Bomberclots? You will. Now I could accept that for six honor. Which would definitely put Jet over the next threshold, I believe. <laughs> Zillard charmed Jet by talking about his own relationship status. So Zillard was like, hey, I'm single. And she was like, hey, I can see why. Later. Wow, that's ice cold. Also, she's a cannibal, so, like, if you continue to suck the worst, then I will actually just have her eat you. No, I won't. We don't do that. Don't worry about that. Forget the thing I just said. That was just background noise. We don't eat people in this colony. Stop saying we do. It's a lie. It's propaganda. Right. Nonetheless, let us let us fastly through the night. Happy, go about your business. Our little our little steel sausage. See, I want Mick to I want Mick to to craft, but she is so busy cooking like constantly that she never really gets the opportunity to do it. 
But it also does mean that she is a very good cook at this point. Yeah, like, she's getting, like, 400 XP per, like, stack of meals cooked. All right. Oh, yes. Party time. Everybody come hang out. Go to a party. I guess they're just considering this room to be party time. Zillard, go, go hang out with your friends. Everybody's going to have a nice party. And the good thing about that is everybody gets... I guess it populates after the... Recreation fully satisfied. Well, look at that. But um, they'll all get a they'll all get a mood buff called attended party, which lasts for like kind of a while. It's funny when Mick, who is my cook, is hungry. Zillard keeps getting mood buffs from training Wolfo. So, given the fact that none of my colonists have named this wolf, and it's been some episodes now. I will be taking suggestions for the name of this wolf. And am at any given moment likely to entertain dumb suggestions as long as they're funny. So, if you want the opportunity to name a wolf, I don't know, subscribe or something, or don't, I'm not your mom. But I mean, if you subscribed and also you know, gave me a cool name for the wolf, I might be more inclined to take that. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I mostly just do this for vanity. Love the sound of my own voice, in case you can tell. Even when it does get all, like, really dry and scratchy. Because I've been talking for hours. Joked about eating eggplants. Yeah, well, less said about that is probably better, friend. Is that still the first? So that's still the first sword, right? Yeah. How's it coming along? How's it coming? Keep going. You can do it, Mick. You can do it, Mick. Make the sword. I know it's just like riveting, just like thrilling stuff. Yeah. Oh, so the cra okay, the crafting is going up the longer she does it, though. So that's pretty awesome. Oh, dude, look at this. Just powering up there. And after making a bunch of swords, which, like, A, we want the swords, and B, it's fantastic training. Felicia is fully healed. Yes, no scars? Perfect. Got away with that one. Flak Yak, back on track. Wapa! Sounded funnier in my head. Nick, come on. Come on. Come on. Fernandez needs his new favorite toy. You do it, you do it, you do it. Fast, 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 fast. Wham. Wham. Look at that. Look at that. Perfectly normal longsword. I'm going to forbid that just so no one kind of just grabs it. But whenever she wants to go make some more, then we'll have a couple more swords and we'll give those to our combatants as, uh, to have good backup melee weapons. We're going to be armed to the teeth. It's going to be a good time. Alright, we're done with all the end tables and the dressers and... Still have a lot of wood left over, so... That is... Very cool. Very cool. Very nice. What are we looking at here? Almost done with this fine episode. Anything else I want to address before we go ahead and do that? No. Really? Everything's uh, everything's looking pretty good. Anything more in my show notes? Nope. Really, it was just focusing on building these walls, which, uh, which is definitely what is going on right now. So I think I'll leave that episode here for now. On the resounding and eternally charming note of I Have Been Cade, this has been Rumworld. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time.